I'm gonna show you how to assemble IKEA Clipstat sliding door wardrobe. On one side you're gonna have hanging rail shelf at the bottom and on the other side exactly the same hanging rail with the shelf. I'm gonna take you through the whole assembly in detail. Let's go and do it. And you're getting three boxes with this IKEA clap start wardrobe. I'm just gonna open them up quickly so you can see how much stuff you're getting with this IKEA clap start wardrobe. One box with the screws and wooden plugs and all the brackets. Three bags in there. So you have all the panels, plastic rails and hanging rails and three plastic bags with the screws and all the stuff. The third one, this they itemize one, two and the third one is without, that's for the fixing the wardrobe to the wall. Useful tools, bigger electric screwdriver combination with the drill with adjustable torque and smaller one, just electric screwdriver. You're gonna need hammer as well. If you like to see what I'm using, all the links are for the tools are in the description. Here, back number one. I like to organize everything what is in there so I can see better what I'm working with. As we have different sizes and shapes of screws and plugs and all the plastic hinges. Here we're gonna start with the bottom and the top panel. So here you're gonna have those two lines. So that's for the plastic rails. Just place them exactly the same as I'm doing here. So you're not gonna do mistake later on. So you're gonna attach the plastic rails first, so those two lines, they're gonna be on one side for now. Here important things when we're gonna attach these plastic rails, make sure you're gonna start right on one edge. Here you see I went around one millimeter from the side and it's gonna be exactly the same at the back. If you're gonna go too far from the edge, at the end you're gonna come out of the panel and that's gonna be problem when you're gonna attach the side panel and it's quite hard to get them out as well and you're gonna when you're trying to get them out you're gonna kind of rip the, uh, the the wooden part out so make sure see one millimeter here on the edge that's how you want it and at the end exactly the same the best thing just put the all the plastic in without pressing in and you're gonna see one side another side lining up nicely in this case I have about one millimeter from the each side as you can see here so that's that was working for me and exactly the same here one millimeter from the edge and I know I'm not gonna go over the edge on the other side hammer them in with the hammer don't go hard with the hammer as this is just a plastic rail so you don't want to break it so just gently tap it in with the hammer if you have a rubber hammer that would be even more useful here exactly the same with the last one so we have two for each of these top and bottom panel Place it in and go gently with the hammer. Make sure it's all the way completely in. No bumps along. Nicely ending just one millimeter before the edge of the panel. Now you're gonna have three of these long panels. So those two are exactly the same. And this one is the middle panel is slightly shorter. So we're gonna start with the shorter middle panel. And we're gonna need those two small panels gonna need wooden plugs and we're gonna place two of e two of these wooden plugs for each side of these dividing panels so this is the panels they're gonna divide the middle part with side panel on the other side exactly the same two wooden plugs for each side of the dividing panels position them exactly the same as I have it here so I'm just gonna push them on the side and I'm gonna do two wooden plugs on uh, each side of the long panel exactly the same on this side two wooden plugs and it's the outer holes you're gonna see on that side there is not there is no big hole like here so we're gonna have it up this way you're gonna need two of these screws and we're gonna place those screws on the middle hole on one side and on the third small hole from the other side. I ignore the big hole there. Here you're gonna have those two big holes and just twist, it, turn it this way around and place it into those screws. You're gonna have those plastic locks. So two plastic locks on each lock you have an arrow and the arrow should point down. If you point it the other way around, you're not gonna be able to lock this connection. 
you just point the arrow down to the screws and twist the lock to the right side to secure the connection. You see here on one side all the side is white for dividing panel and at the back this side is raw and dividing panel is white on the both sides. Now we can turn it this way, we're gonna do the other one exactly the same. Two of these screws, place them in, so that's the middle hole here. Go just till the stopper, not deeper and not higher, otherwise you're gonna have a hard time to connect this side panel and third hole from the bottom. Here two holes, they're gonna be at the bottom here, exactly the same as on the other dividing panel. You're gonna need two plastic locks on each lock. There is an arrow and you know where to point the arrow at this point. It's gonna be exactly the same, point it to the screw. Push it down and twist the lock to the right side. And exactly the same for the second one. Arrow pointing to the screw, push it down and twist the lock to the right side to secure the connection. Now we're gonna have top and bottom panel. Gonna need four of these wooden plugs and we place one on the back side of this panel. So that's the opposite side from the plastic rails, which we did previously. On the other side, exactly the same. Last hole at the back of the panel. That's the raw side. Just place them in, secure it with the hammer. And now we can join it, join with those two screws with the middle panel. This is the electric screwdriver with adjustable torque, which is going to make this much faster, as you're going to see in a moment. Now we're going to lift it up, the middle part, and push it to the bottom panel. Secure it with the one screw, just find the right holes and secure it. Exactly the same at the bottom, secure it. Now the two screws, exactly the same as for the bottom. Only we're gonna do the top now. So I prepare the screw. This is the rails, the plastic rails. So they go at the bottom, so the carpet side. And on the top is the back side of the wardrobe at the moment. I lift the middle part up, find the right holes and push it in. So you see edge is nicely lining up on the top. Push it in and now you can secure exactly the same as at the bottom with the two screws. So this electric screwdriver extremely useful here with adjustable torque. I don't need to be worried about overrunning the screws. As I mentioned, all the links for the tools are in the description. Here you have the rails at the bottom, on the bottom side, and exactly the same on the top. So you see the middle part is kind of lift up at the moment, but the back side is lining up nicely. Now we're gonna need those screws again. So this is a side panel, bottom side. And we can place the side panel on the correct side. So the white side down and the raw side on the top at the moment. And we can connect the bottom side first. Find the right holes, lift it slightly up if you need, tap it in and secure it from the side. Exactly the same on the middle two screws and secure it. Another two screws at the bottom. Find the right holes, you should be in at this point and you can secure it, both of them. Tighten up. And now we're gonna have those two small panels. One side is white, one side is raw. And we're gonna place two wooden plugs on each side of these small panels. Secure them in with the hammer on both sides. Now the top is not closed yet. You see there is a gap at the moment, but first we're gonna put this panel in and you see the white part is gonna be on the outer side and the raw part on the inner side. So the raw part is not gonna be visible, but the white part on the edge of the panel is gonna be visible. So place them in, in the two holes on one side and two holes on the other side. That's why we didn't secure yet the edge, the side panel yet on the top. So we can place this one in. And once you're in, you're gonna need three of these screws again. Just push the side panel in completely now. Tap it in from the side. Once you're in, you can secure it with the three screws. So there is an Allen key in the back, but this is much faster as you see, and these tools are very useful for any DIY, not just IKEA, any hanging 
frames or any kind of furniture assembly extremely useful make the process much faster so here we have the small panel in no gaps at all that's how we like it and the plastic rails at the bottom and now we're gonna put the plastic legs so there is a two legs on each side panel so at the moment we have just one side panel in so we're gonna place those two plastic legs and the second side panel I'm gonna prepare it here exactly the same place it in find the right holes or get closest you can on all three sides and we do the bottom first as previously exactly the same and secure the screws here you don't need to go all the way in in the manual you're gonna have you're gonna need to leave the screws like five millimeter out i went all the way in it's no problem i just want to have it steady while i'm assembling and then i can just undo them to put the two bottom two panels under the bottom panel i'm gonna explain that in a moment as we get to it you can just secure it here two screws at the bottom front and two screws on the middle just secure them you can secure them completely and then we can undo them slightly now we're gonna have this small panel on the top exactly same as on the other side we didn't secure the top side of the side panel yet so first we're gonna place this one in one side raw one side white so the white side gonna be on the visible side and the raw we're not gonna see so place it correctly in a two holes on each side find the holes nicely in and now we can tap the side panel in just push it into the right holes tap it from the side once you're in, you can secure the with, with the three screws, one on the top and two at the bottom. And we have nice side again with no gaps at all. That's how I like it. And now at the bottom side, we're gonna put two plastic legs on a side panel. Don't go too hard with the hammer here as this is just a plastic leg. And this is the two panels which I was talking about. So two long slim panels gonna go under the bottom panel. So two wooden plugs on each side of those panels. And now we can place the legs. So two plastic legs on the middle. One is going to be at the bottom, one is going to be on the middle. So we're going to go at the bottom. And you can see here, I put it on one side and try to push it in. So I couldn't, because you should keep one side slightly open. So you're not going to, I don't want to pressurize it. I don't want to break the panel. So just open slightly here. I think you have the instructions here to leave the one side open. So open it slightly. It's no problem. You can fix it quickly. Just open it slightly, maybe half centimeter. Just about to push this one down without uh, breaking it. So just open it slightly. You see, I'm gonna need to open a little bit more because it was quite hard to push. Don't push it too hard. Just you're gonna see it's gonna go nicely and the other hole's not gonna pop out. Just slide it in and it's gonna just jump into those two holes. And we're gonna do exactly the same with the middle panel here. Exactly the same, two holes on one side and just slide it in the two holes on the other side gonna open it slightly more because I don't want to pressurize the panel here we go slide it into those two holes and you see it's just nicely popped in and now you can secure all holes completely so one on the top two at the bottom now you're gonna have this L bracket with the two screws and that's gonna secure the bottom panel from inner side so the hole is not pre-drilled but this is marked there on the side that's where the shorter side of the L bracket gonna go Secure it with the screw on one side and now lift the panel up and close to the edge and secure with the second screw. So this is gonna hold this one in. The this one unfortunately they didn't include any L bracket here, so that's one they don't have any fixing there. Back panels, you're gonna have two back panels. Here we're gonna place it in here. So it's gonna be joined on the middle. One side is white, one side is raw, so the white side is on the inner side. So when you open the wardrobe, you're going to see nice white back panel. And we can close it here, just like that, right on the edges, on the sides, on the top and the bottom panel. Now, 
measure from corner to corner, you should get exactly the same number. If not, just tap it in one corner or the other corner till you don't get exactly the same number on the both sides. That's going to mean your wardrobe is in 90 degrees all along. Then when you're going to start to fix with the nails the middle, check if the top, bottom and the middle have exact same measurement. Sometimes they're bending, so sometimes you're going to need to kind of twist the panel or straighten up. In this case we're all good, so I can just secure the whole wardrobe all along with the nails which IKEA provided in the back. So we have all the four sides and now we're going to do the middle, go exactly on the middle here. Don't go a little bit on the edge because you're going to just come out from the middle panel. So make sure you go nice and straight on the middle here. So we're going to secure the middle this way. Finish it the sides and the bottom. And now we can lift the wardrobe up. Two people suggested here, but you can do it alone. If you go slowly, just watch your back. When you're moving the wardrobe, go from side to side, never push it. You see, I'm lifting it slightly up and then I'm moving, lifting up, moving. And now we can slide it this way because you're not putting pressure on the two slim bottom panels. Now back number two, we're going to open it up. This is all the plastic we get, plastics we're getting in here. So those ones are for the hanging rail, hanging rails, and we're going to get those four screws. You place them in to the top part of the IKEA Klebstad wardrobe. And exactly the same on the other side, two for each side. Clip it at the bottom and secure it on the top with the screw, one for each of this plastic. Now we're going to have those small kind of rubber plugs, just place them in to those two holes. You're going to have two on each side on the top and two on each side at the bottom. Just place them in, that's preventing the wardrobe from the loud slamming on the edge. Two at the bottom, two on the top on each side. Now we're going to have the doors, so you're going to have two doors and position them exactly the same as I have it here. So you see here you have those four holes, so that's on this on the right side. Here are two holes on the left side for the other doors, so position them exactly the same as I have it here, so you're not going to have any problems at the end. Here are two holes on the right side, and four holes going to be on the left side for the other doors. So you can see here on the middle you're going to have those two holes, that's for the door handles. The holes for the door handles at the moment, they're on the outer side. Here is the hinges for a top and bottom. So this part gonna go at the bottom and this part gonna go on the top. So here is those two holes for the door handles on the outer side. And now we can put the bottom ones down and we're gonna work with the top ones at the moment. So the top ones, we place them in on the top. Two on each door on the top. And the same for the other door, two top hinges for the second door. Now we're going to have those screws. I'm going to secure those hinges, there's two screws for each top hinge. You see on the middle, there is no adjustment. It's just kind of going down, that's the top hinges. Yeah, don't mix them up. If we're going to mix them up with the other side, I'm going to explain in a moment how the bottom look like. There is like a small wheel on it. For the bottom one, the top ones, those ones, they don't have the wheel and the adjustable screw on the middle. So two screws for each of them. And now this is the bottom one. You see the adjustable screw on the middle and you have the wheel at the bottom of the hinge. So just place them in. That's going to be the bottom of the doors. Here it is. You see the white wheel at the bottom and the adjustable screw on the middle. Two screws for each of the hinges. Here, this is the adjustment. Push all the hinges all the way down. So the wheel almost hiding in. So we're going to have easy time when we're going to push, push the doors in. If you're not going to do this, you're going to have very hard time to push the doors on the top. So make sure push this adjustment all the way down the wheel. It's kind of hiding in the doors at the moment. And then later on you can adjust it, depending if you're going to need it, but I'm going to explain it in a moment. Do the same for all four of them. 
holes for the door handles at the moment they're on the right side and push the door in the first rail so that the inner rail so this is going to be the inner doors so one side and another side when you're going to slide it from left to right it's going to be nice and easy that you're going to know you're in the right position and once you're in at the bottom you're going to press this down from inner side on each on a both sides at the same time do you see you can pre push it from inner side down that clip and you're going to get over the first rail and you're going to end up in the second rail from this side so here second rail or the inner rail let's call it inner rail so it's going to be the inner door and this is the right position the clip went nicely in or the lock went nicely in to the rail here it's going to pop just like that and now we know we're in the right position as they clip nicely into the top rail and we running smoothly at the, at the bottom if you're not in the right position you're gonna feel the doors not gonna slide nicely like very softly second doors exactly the same place them in the first rail so this is gonna be the outer door so the outer rail so both hinges in slide it in see it's got nice and easy on the side um, i know i'm in the right place and now you can push it from the top here just over the plastic and push one side you see i push the inner door a little bit out so i can come from inside and push the first side now i swing the doors behind it and i can access the plastic hinge on the top from inner side and slide it into the gap for the outer rail now they sliding nice nice and smooth for both of them see this is the door handles on one side and on the other side at the moment we have quite a big gap on the top as the floor is probably uneven i'm gonna fix it in a moment so here this is the one fix you can do without adjusting the hinges just put something under one corner let's see how that's gonna work out for us here this side is kind of okay it's a little bit gap on the bottom i still gonna need to push it slightly more i don't want to go on a crazy adjustment on the hinges i'm gonna probably have to go a little bit to see but it looks much better just with that small like three millimeters small plastic under the one corner but i'm gonna have to adjust the hinge so here is the adjustment just twist the adjustment screw slightly up or down depend where you need to go and exactly the same for the other door so you adjust them the correct way you can see now they lining up nicely now we're gonna need those plastics it's two type of plastic this is the stopper plastic place them in to the outer door secure it with those two plastic plugs at the bottom is gonna be one stopper and this is gonna prevent the doors uh, against scratching against each other with the door handles and they're not gonna slam on the edge so that's how it's gonna stop nicely a bit softer stopping here we're gonna have the hang rails place them in one for each side do not screw nothing here just push it down one side and the other side and exactly the same here just push it down and door handles with the two screws one side screw from the inner side and we secure the door handle from the front it's quite hard to get into those it was quite hard door handle with the electric screwdriver no problem at all so here at the side exactly the same door handle from one side and screw from the inner side secure it and we have the doors ready now you can open nicely and you can see we don't have gaps at all nicely lining up here this is the back without the uh, without any markings this is our shape brackets and screws and wall plugs for the wardrobe to be fixed on the wall which we're not going to do uh, in this case and this is it ikea clap start sliding door wardrobe hope you enjoyed the video guys if yes thumbs up subscribe to the channel as always you will make my day and see you in my next one very very soon Thank you for watching, have a fantastic day.